Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the June Bella box. So let's get into it. So it looks like we have a pretty purple box this month. And it's sort of like a wintry June theme for the box. Got the products. So the first one is a Manakada um, Beauty Mascara. Um, we all got to choose what one we wanted out of four things. So things we'd already received before, which I thought was annoying. Like I had to pick something I already had. So the obvious choice was obviously a mascara because, you know, you always need a mascara. Whereas the other options I wasn't actually excited about because the highlighter and the lip product obviously I hadn't run out of those anytime soon and the beauty sponge I actually don't like and I'll be including it in a future a disappointing products video so um the only logical choice for me was the mascara and it's full size valued at 29 US dollars not gonna open the actual tube but that's what the um mascara looks like I just don't want to undo it and dry it out or anything before I get to use it. Got so many mascaras waiting, but I just didn't want to get another product I would use and eventually I will use this one. Next we have the Pantene Pro V Blends Micellar Gen Dental My Moisturizing Conditioner. That was a lot of words. Pantene's nourishing conditioner works to detox, purify roots, and nourish the ends of your hair. 0% silicones, parabens, and dyes. Its formula is infused with nutrients like Provitamin B5, antioxidants, sea salt, and micelles. Leave hair strong, soft, and flowing with a lightweight formula that moisturizes and gently conditions. Um, this is just a sample size, but the full size is $12.99 at Coles and Woolworths. You know what really grinds my gears? Um, I'm very disappointed to have gotten this because Bella Box has this thing where they've started giving us shampoos and conditioners instead of together, boxes. And even months apart in this i got this like not even the last month it would have been the month before or before that and it's very annoying that i can't even get them together either give them to me together or not at all and they don't they've never said you know wait for the next box because i shouldn't have to wait for products to use them so yeah disappointing not the product isn't disappointing itself even though i'm not a shampoo conditioner person i'm more of a shampoo leaving conditioner person so the product itself isn't really up my alley but i would have preferred to receive it with the shampoo so that's every freaking time i do this like it annoys me oh my god why so we have a little sample it is a dollar shave club shave butter i don't use shave butter i just shave in the shower with the water that's running down like I don't use products so that might be bad I don't know but I'm, I don't think I'll use that so that is not too exciting but it's a bonus so you know can't get too mad about it now we have two products from Bean Body and I I'm not that disappointed but I do wish I would have you know say taken away this one and got a, something from another brand. So I've got the lip scrub and the lip balm. I'm excited about the lip scrub. I really am. I really want to try it. The lip balm, I'm not that excited about. I'm just a Burt's Bees girl. That's just how it is. So the lip scrub is $12.95 and the lip balm is, is $9.95 and they're both available at, oh, so. <laughs> The lip scrub is available at beanbodycare.com and the lip balm is available at davidjonespharmacy.com.au. So that's weird. Like, I'm assuming you could get them both, you know, at the same place. Um, take care of your lips during winter weather with Bean Body's Espresso Lip Scrub. Designed to nourish your pout, this lovely scrub contains lip-loving coconut oil and coconut butter to buff smooth dry lips at once. Um, a delicious blend of coconut oil and papaya fruit will have your lips so hydrated and soft that they even feel better than the thought of an island getaway. Vegan friendly and cruelty free. 
So yeah, I'll definitely give those a go. I'm definitely excited to try the lip scrub out. Um, the lip balm's probably just going to go into the box with all the other lip balms and I'll probably get to it eventually. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to give them a go. Next, we have these eye patches from Patchology, the Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. So I'm actually really excited about these. Um, this is just a sample of one pair, but the full size, I'm not saying how many pairs it is, is 4.22 at mecca.com.au. So I don't know how many gels you get, but for four dollars and twenty-two cents, you assuming that that's just the one patch. Who knows? You'd have to look it up. Ditch the smoky eye for a fresh face look. Patchology's rejuvenating eye gels are a fast fix for tired eyes. Thanks to a formula that combines caffeine and hydrolyzed collagen. Make it your go-to for depuffing, hydrating, and smoothing the eye area. So yeah, I'm actually pretty um, keen to give these a go, especially if they're like so affordable. You can always add them to your makeup order every time you get something, you know, you can always, you know, get the free shipping if you need to add a couple dollars. Yeah. Looks really fun. And then we've gotten a little HelloFresh um, gift thing. I, I won't probably won't use it, but maybe I'll have to pass it on to somebody else. And there's an ingredients card. So that's basically everything in the box. Now, just going over everything we did get, um, the mascara I'm happy with obviously because I chose it, but I chose it because it was the only thing I would be happy to receive again out of the four things because they were things we'd already received before. And I don't think that they should be, they, they seem to be excited to bring back these products, but I just don't think they should, I think they should be making more of an effort to find new things for the boxes. Um, the shave butter is not exciting for me. However, it is a bonus. Therefore, I don't count it in my overall rating of the box, but I would have preferred maybe like a moisturizer or a cleanser or something like that instead. The lip balm, I'm keen to try, but it's not like on my radar of things I have to try straight away just because it is a lip balm and I've got so many. Um, the lip scrub, however, I really want to get um, to using um, soon. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a lip scrub in my possession because um, I've always gotten them from Lush and they tend to expire quickly and I can never finish it, so I just stop buying them. But yeah, I'm keen to give the lip scrub a go. Um, the fact that the, these are both in espresso, like the lip balm, the lip scrub, that doesn't bother me too much because it's not gonna stay on your lips, but if the lip balm is a flavoured espresso, I might be a bit worried about that because I don't want to taste coffee on my mouth all the time. <laughs> um, the conditioner, I'm not going to go on another rant about it. I don't think we should have gotten it alone and especially multiple boxes after the shampoo. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, the Patchology eye patches, I'm also really keen to give a go. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the box. The only things that were a true disappointment were the shave butter, which was a sample and the conditioner. Um, the lip balm, I'm kind of just, I'm not excited, but I'm not disappointed because it will definitely get used. Um, the mascara is great, the lip scrub's great, and the patches are great. So overall, I do think it's a great box, but I've definitely had better boxes than this. Um, but yeah, I'm just sick of getting conditioners and shampoos separately. And I hope that they will stop doing that soon because I'm getting over it. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.